Hey there, so this is Cosette and she's going to be helping us do a demonstration on how to place a bandage on a rabbit foot. And your vet may ask you to do this for a number of different reasons, so we just want to make sure that um, it seems straightforward. There is a video for how to place a bandage on a guinea pig that goes through the different kinds of bandage material if you're going to do it sort of the traditional way. What we're going to do today is show you how to place a bandage using a baby sock. Um, what we found is that a lot of a lot of bunnies seem to do better with cloth instead of bandage material and they seem to tolerate it a little bit better. So that is what we want to show you today. So this is definitely a two-person thing and what we're going to be doing is picking up Cosette carefully by supporting her on her chest and always making sure that her bottom is really well supported as well. Just remember bunnies can kick hard enough to actually break their own back so it's really really important to always have a lot of support and keeping them in that C position. Um, ideally you'll have a sock that's this size or a little bit bigger. Um, apparently this is 12 to 24 months. You're also going to have very sticky tape which is elasticon. There's a couple of different types out there or you might have just some skin tape. Um, this is apparently Johnson & Johnson brand. Um, you can get either kind of tape. The sticky tape tends to just be nicer because it'll actually stick to the fur a little bit more effectively but you can get away with using this tape in most cases as well. The other important thing is to pre-cut your pieces of tape. Make sure that everything is all set up before you start your procedure because if you've got them in hand already, you just wanna be able to do things as quickly as possible to minimize their stress. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little sock, you're going to gently place it over the foot. And the nice thing about these socks is that what you can do on the outside is you can layer cushioning and some bunnies prefer to have no toe so you can actually pre-cut the toe off and then use that toe as additional cushioning on the on the hock or the heel area but how you secure it there's two ways one way is you can use the the not super sticky tape and actually avoid their fur altogether and you're not going very tight but you're just gently placing it in that ankle area in a way that that um, creates enough of a cinch that the foot won't just slide out. And this does not work with any kind of rabbit that is trying to get out of their shoe, um, or their sock rather. If that's the case, then what I would do is do it the second way that I'm about to show you. And so I've just sort of folded the sock in place to keep it like that. And most rabbits are actually really tolerant of this. If you have a bunny who's kind of flipping out and doesn't really like the whole bandage situation, what you can do is instead use a piece of sticky tape. And so this sticky tape, what you would do is put about half of it on the sock itself and half of it on her fur. And then just really, again, you wanna make sure that it's a fairly close fit. And you don't wanna to pull too tight because it's important that you don't cut off circulation of the toes. Um, but if you do it like this, then not only have you cinched it tight so that there's not any slippage that's going on, you've also adhered it to the fur itself. So there's a fair amount of, of security in this. And so then you can do what we discussed in other videos where you can take another piece of tape and use a little bit right here as another additional form of um, protection for the sock itself. So it's a little bit more protected in case they run over their pee or their poo. Um, and again, you know, if you have a bunny who's really particular about their toes being free, you can very easily just cut that edge and then you have an extra piece of cushioning that you can just tape right here. Just to be clear, if we're cutting the toe off of the sock, you do wanna make sure that the sock is not at all on the bunny. Uh, we wanna keep those toes nice and safe. And so what you're gonna do is just pick up a pair of scissors, cut off that toe of the sock, and then can you go ahead and hold her up for me again, please? So in this case, um, we're just gonna slide, slide your foot in. I know you don't like it. And this sock is also has um, a longer ankle part, which is nice because then you can you can also again cinch it over. So her her toes are nice and free. And what you can do is then use the toe that you had already cut off and just attach it right here. So it's another extra set of cushioning, so that when she's hopping around, she's got a little bit of extra protection.